Hello, how's everybody today? This is Tasty Tuesday. Everybody staying safe? It's a good thing. Look what we're going to do today. We're going to do a pork loin roast with baby yellow potatoes on the side and sweet potatoes sliced in chunks. But right now, I'm going to show you guys how I season, sear the meat. I'm going to put it in the oven and I'm going to let it cook for about 45 minutes. Then I'm going to pull it out, take the meat out, deglaze the pan, and line it with my vegetables in the meat and put it back in there for another 45 minutes. And it's going to be some good eating. Alrighty, so watch me. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm um, inserting this knife into this pork tenderloin. What I'm going to do, I'm going to insert whole cloves of fresh garlic in it. And garlic is good for high blood pressure and a number of other things. I remember my grandmother used to have a little saucer by the stove, and she would keep fresh garlic on it. And I used to wonder, why she always got that garlic? And I noticed what she was doing, she would bite off of it every now and then. And as I got older, I realized why she smelled so funny. She smelled like garlic because she really ate it. But it's, I use garlic in everything except for pastries and stuff. It's good, though. It is really good. Okay, now you see me inserting this. You can put as much as you want. The more the better to me. That's in my mind, anyway. We're going to insert this garlic into this meat. Okay. Alrighty, now we're going to prepare the spices that I'm going to rub into this meat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the spices that I'm going to use and rub on the meat. I'm going to put them all in here. I'm going to combine them, and then I'm going to take some out and leave that for the vegetables. Okay, so right here we have, I called for sprigs of rosemary, but I didn't see any fresh enough, so I got granulated rosemary. And rosemary is very strong and very pungent, so you don't need a lot of it. It's aromatic. It's good, though. It has a good flavor to it. Okay, here we go with my cracked black pepper. Okay, the measurements are already in the written recipe, and you'll find that up under the video. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. All right, this is about right here. This is a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. Okay, now I have the pork special seasoning. Okay, this is for pork tenderloins. Okay, and we take this, we put this together. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to combine all these seasonings. And while I'm combining that, okay, I'm going to sear this meat. So I'm putting in some corn oil, okay, in a preheated skillet. So when the um, meat hits it, you're going to hear it sizzle. And then you're going to smell all the rooms. They're just going to bust out. All right, so now what I'm getting ready to do is take all this seasoning I mixed up and rub down real good the meat. Sprinkle it over on both sides. Okay, now I'm searing it, and I'm going to sear it on all the way around. And turn it over. I'm going to sprinkle some more seasonings into these slits I placed in here with the already inserted raw garlic. Rub it down real good. Like you put lotion on yourself. You know, you got to keep up with that lotion. Okay, we got this real good. Okay, I'm inserting the meat into this cast iron skillet. You hear that? Okay, fat side up. All right, five minutes rotating round. Okay, I'm taking gloves off right now. And if you were wondering if I had the meat on the naked, um, think I didn't. Like I was telling you last time, this is, these are really good to use. They're reusable. And you can use them so much and then you can always just throw them away because you go to the dollar store and you can get two in a pack. They're very good in hand. Alright, so I'm going to put out a new fresh one that I had rinsed out and into the pack. And we're going to take this. Now it's time for me to turn this meat over. Okay. See how it's searing. Oh, it's looking good. So let me get a good grip on this before I turn it over because this is a big piece of meat. 
This is two and a half pounds of pork tenderloin. All right. Y'all bear with me. If it falls, y'all come catch final dish. All right. See the browning, the searing? And what you're doing, you're locking the flavors into the meat. It's a big piece of meat, so I got a job here today. But it's a good thing. All right. Okay. So we're going to put these spices to the side because when I come back, after I let this cook in the oven for about 45 minutes by itself, I'm going to pull it out the oven. I'm going to garnish it with the potatoes, and then I'm going to degrease the pan and put some more flavor to it and stick it back in the oven for about another 45 minutes. Okay, so I feel like we're good to go. You ready, meat? You look good. You smell good. I mean, we can do everything in the world. We can go to the moon. We can fight diseases and stuff, but can't nobody make no smell of net or smell of vision. That would really be a good thing that people could smell food, but who knows? They might come up with it sooner or later. But anyway, I'm going to put this meat into this pan, and then I'm going to stick it in the oven. Okay, and I'm going to let it cook, like I said, on in a preheated oven at 400 degrees. So now when I put the meat in, I'm going to turn it down to 350. All right. I'm going to take this, put this right here. I'm going to inspect my meat, make sure you're just good and juicy in the right place you need to be. Okay, now that the meat is good and seared, what we're going to do, we're going to place this foil on top of this. And this is what you need, a big lip baking sheet, because you don't want a small one. You want to be able to hold all your ingredients. Okay, I'm going to put this, I'm not going to really tuck it in. I'm just, because we need a little air to come through, but this will help smother the flavors. I'm going to go over here and get a towel. And then what I'm going to do, we're going to put this in the oven for about 35, 40 minutes. On, turn the oven down from 400 to 375. And then when I come back, we're going to garnish it with the potatoes. And then you can see how I treat the potatoes. All right, we're back momentarily. This is the size that's going to go on the side of the meat. And right now I have our baby golden yellow potatoes. This is what they look like once you cut them. So what I'm going to do, I want you to see you cut them lengthwise. Okay? So now I'm going to pour them into this bowl. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add all my spices that I put on the meat. I'm now going to combine them in this one bowl. And this is what I'm going to use with olive oil to put on the potatoes. And so when I get ready to pull the meat out, they're already be seasoned and they'll be boiled and stuffed and ready to go into the oven. All right, potato time. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the olive oil and I'm just going to drizzle enough to cover them. And you see now it already combined the seasonings. And see that way when I put it in the pan with the meat, they're already done. Okay, this is all my serious, serious seasonings. Here we go. I can smell it from here. Okay. Now let's toss this for a little while. Make sure everybody's individually covered. Okay, that looks good. All right. So we're going to put this to the side. I'm going to rinse my hands. And now we're going to do the sweet potato the same exact way, same exact way. So when the meat comes out of the oven in like 35, 45 minutes, I can put each category on the side of it. And then we're good to go. Okay, these are sweet potatoes. They have already been peeled and cooked. But I want to remind you, when you're using uh, fresh vegetables and they got so many different sizes of potatoes, you want to cook everything, cut it in the same size so they get uniformly done. Because you don't want to bite into a potato, half of it's done and the other half's not. Okay, now I'm going to sprinkle these sweet potatoes with this olive oil. Okay. 
okay? And then I'm going to add some more of this outstanding spice. And then we're going to put this stuff, I'm going to stir it up. We're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it do what it do. While it's doing that, while the meat is cooking. See how we got this going here? And this is what we have, like the pork spice, garlic powder, cracked black pepper, and a little rosemary. And as soon as the meat get done, I will be back to show you step two. Thank you. Hi. Okay. Let's take these shallots. And this is the shallot. I call them baby onions. I already did some so you can see what they look like. But I'm going to do this one for you so you can see how to peel them. Because they're very simple to peel. They're the cousins to the onions. Onions have so many cousins. They got green onions. They got scallions. It, it's, it's, it's a heap of all kind of onions. But these, I picked these particular shallots because they like to melt and deglaze quick. So you get the flavor that goes into your uh, um, whatever food you're cooking. It makes it more succulent. Okay, I'm going to cut this in half. And I'm going to put this right here. Okay, we're going to get rid of these peelings. And I'm going to pull the meat out of the oven. And then I'm going to let you see what I do with it. Okay, here we go. It's been in the oven for about 45 minutes. Okay, and we already had seasoned it and spiced it. Stuffed it with garlic and all that good stuff. Okay, and this is what the meat looks like. It's not all the way done, but this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to, what I did with the sweet potatoes, I put the seasoning, same seasoning I put on the meat. I mixed it and I put EVO oil on it. So I'm going to garnish all the way around. And like I said, remember to uh, try to make sure that all your cuts of your vegetables are uniform. So they can all get done at the same time. Okay, now here are our yellow baby golden potatoes. They go on this side. This is going to be so delicious. All right, looks good. Okay, now the shallots, I'm just going to lay them inconspicuously on top of whatever, the potatoes. And you'll see they'll melt real good down into your food. Okay, now I'm going to pour this mixture. This is white cooking wine with melted butter. Give it a little more significant flavor. Just drizzle a little bit all the way through. Okay, looking good. Now, here's the water. The thing with the water is you just want to put enough water in there to cover the bottom of the pan. And you don't want to pour it on top of the meat because you're rinsing all your seasons off. So you just lightly just pour a little bit around the edges of it. And then we're going to cover this back up and we're going to put it back in the oven for about 30, 35 minutes, and voila, it should be done. All right. Cover this up. Lightly, like I said, you don't have to just cover the whole pan. Just a little bit to help build up the steam. Okay, so now we're going to insert this into the oven. Here we go. And like I said, about 35, 30, 35 more minutes. And then we'll be good to go. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to set this up. We have let the meat rest for about seven minutes. That's to keep the, the flavor and the juices in because you don't want to cut the meat as soon as you take it out the oven. If you notice, any kind of meat that you bake, the juices will run out and you want the juices. And while he's cutting the meat, what I'm going to do is layer the plate with the sweet potatoes and the yellow baby potatoes. Okay. I'm going to start from the far left because I'm left-handed. All right. It looks so good and so hearty. And you know, this is a good meal, too. Even in the wintertime with some biscuits when it's real cold, it's, it's really some good eating. And it's so nutritional. Uh, you get a lot, a lot of potassium from all potatoes, white potatoes, sweet potatoes, red potatoes, and that's what we all need, that potassium. Okay, so now we're going to go to work.
You can see the individual pieces of garlic that I had stuffed into the meat. Mr. Cook, you want to point to that for yes. us right there? Right here. This fresh garlic. And this is also good leftovers. It's good for sandwiches, cold sandwiches, warm sandwiches, or you could put pork gravy on top of it a little bit. And you got you some good eating for a couple of days. And that keeps us from going out there in that pandemic. True. How about that? Yeah. And by letting your, your meat rest for those seven minutes, it permits it to absorb the juices back into the flesh so that you don't lose all the moisture. Exactly. That you would lose if you immediately went to cutting it. Exactly. And so now I'm going to let you take that and serve it, and I will continue to slice up the rest for storage. All right, right. and I'm going to pour just a little, little bit of this juice over the top Excellent. of the meat. Okay. okay. Here we go, just a little juice. Okay, now it's time to plate, and what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the succulent pork loin roast, a couple slices, and like I said, it's stuffed with raw garlic, so you will get that flavor in there. And then we're going to add a couple of sweet potatoes. Yeah, baby, this is going to be some good eating. Here we go. Okay, and we could always put more on. Okay, and here it is. And see, you notice I did not peel the yellow baby potatoes because it holds them together and the peeling has a lot of flavor. But you have to be make sure that when you're using these potatoes with the peelings, you wash them with a brush real good and rinse them real good to get off anything on them. And that is so delicious. All right, give me one more sweet potato. Okay. Okay. I'm left-handed, so bear with me. And here we go. Okay, it's easy cut. My, my, my. All right. Set this right here. And I'm going to try this. I'm my best critic anyway. Outstanding. Outstanding. I can taste the rosemary. I can taste the garlic. And it's so fresh, and like I said, you can clean, cleanse your palate with the cucumbers. This is outstanding. This is great. Mm, mm, mm. Man, my glasses fall off. This is good. Thank you. <laughs>